Today, I'm going to show you a super easy method to create and sell your ebook from start to finish so that you can stop procrastinating and start generating thousands of dollars in passive income over time. I've personally made a lot of money from selling just one ebook that I created a long time ago and that continues to sell multiple times every month. I've recently put together a whole new one that I'll be launching very soon. So I want to share that full process with you. We'll go over how to come up with the best ebook topic for you, how to create your ebook from start to finish, publish it online, and promote it in order to generate traffic and sales. The first step is to come up with your ebook topic, and there's many ways you can do this. First, you can ask ChatGPT to give you a list of some popular and profitable ebook topics. If you don't already have an account, you can sign up with your email and just use their free version. This will at least get you to start brainstorming on some ideas, and it gives some great suggestions like self-help and personal development, health and wellness, parenting and family, business and finance. You can do the same research on Google and just go through some blogs and articles that break down some popular niches that you can focus your ebook on. With that said, the topic you choose needs to be something you're actually interested in and have some experience around. So think about what your friends and family come to you for advice on. Think of what you're good at and what you're passionate about. Do people typically ask you for relationship advice, cooking advice, tips on home organization? It could be anything, but your book needs to solve a specific problem that people struggle with and are actively searching for a solution to. Once you kind of have an idea, you can head over to ebook platforms like Amazon, for example, to see how well this specific topic sells. So let's say you're thinking of a home organization book. Type in home organization and browse Browse through some bestsellers to see how many reviews they're getting, what customers are saying about them, etc. For example, the complete book of Home Organization has over 2,000 ratings, and there's a summary included here to give you an idea of what this book is about. You can even read a sample of this book to give you inspiration on what you could also include in your book. It's also a good idea to read some of the ratings and see what people love about this book and what people don't like about this book. So you you can take that as feedback and improve on when creating yours. Okay, now that you have your topic, it's time to create your ebook. We're going to use a Canva for this because Canva is super user-friendly and has all the features you will need to put your ebook together. If you prefer to use a different software that you're more comfortable with, feel free to do so. Now, although some people recommend using Canva's built-in ebook templates, most of these templates are only a few pages long, so you don't have that much of a variety variety to work with. And personally, I find Canva's licensing terms a little confusing. They're not crystal clear on what we're allowed and not allowed to use in the digital products that we create using their templates. So that's why I just like to grab my own templates, graphics, and fonts if I plan on selling this digital product over and over again. You can download beautiful ebook templates that come with a commercial license from Creative Fabrica. And most of them are editable in Canva. There's a wide variety to choose from and each one includes many different page styles to work with. You can simply drag and drop your own images and information without changing much of the layout so it makes this process super quick, easy, and efficient. To download your template, you can use my link down below to get your first 10 downloads absolutely for free and you can cancel the subscription at any time even before you get charged. I'm personally on Creative Fabrica's super affordable annual plan that gives you access to to all of their products, including their fonts and graphics. So you can also check that out as well. Based on what your ebook is about, you can select a template that suits that topic and aesthetic to make it even easier for you. Whether you're creating an ebook on recipes, mindfulness, monetization, or whatever it may be. Of course, they're all editable regardless, so choose the one that you gravitate towards the most. For this example, I'm going to create an ebook on home organization, and I really liked the page styles of this one. In the description, it says I'm allowed to use all the fonts and images included in this template, which is great because 
I can decide whether or not I want to switch them out without worrying about copyright issues. So I'll go ahead and download it here. Open your download and click the link to access your template. Mine is on the first page of this document. Yours might be on a different page depending on which one you choose. Then click use template to start editing it in Canva. You will need a Canva account. So if you don't have one, you can sign up for free using your email. You should be able to create your entire ebook using their free features only. But if you want to access and test out their pro features, I will leave a 30 day free trial link of Canva Pro down below for you. So once you're in your ebook template, it's just a matter of swapping out the images and editing the text to include all the information you want. Starting with your cover page, you can ask ChatGPT to help you brainstorm some title ideas that you can then tweak however you like. So I typed in, give me some catchy titles for an ebook that helps homeowners organize their home. The results are actually pretty impressive, so I would just combine a few of them to come up with my own title. So let's go with the ultimate home organization guide. Like I mentioned, Canva is very user friendly and pretty easy to navigate. You can change the fonts, text, sizes, and colors using the top menu. You can position the text and elements by going to position and aligning them however you like on the page. For anything you want to delete, just select it and hit delete on your keyboard. I actually really like this image for my cover page. And like I mentioned, this template includes a commercial license to all these images. So I would probably just leave it as is, but let's say you want to swap out the image for something else. You can of course take your own photos to use but there are websites that offer beautiful stock images for free. The ones I typically use are Pexels, Pixabay, and Unsplash. Type in a keyword that would describe the image you're looking for and browse through their library. I found this image on Unsplash when I typed in home organization and downloaded it to my computer. I can simply upload it to Canva by going into uploads, upload files, then drag and drop it to replace the original image. If you want to change any of the fonts in your ebook, Book, you can download really nice fonts from Creative Fabrica and upload them to Canva by clicking on upload a font right over here. But this is one of their pro features. As you work through the pages of your ebook, you can use ChatGPT to help you come up with an outline as well as formulate some of the text in your chapters. Like I mentioned, you do want to pick a topic that you have experience in, but ChatGPT can be used as your assistant in writing out this ebook more efficiently. So I typed in, give me an outline for an ebook that helps homeowners organize their home. And it gave me a really good flow to work with. So you can use this as a guide when organizing the chapters of your book. My template comes with a beautiful table of contents that I'm just going to leave as is and come back to and update when all my chapters and pages are complete. So let's say we want chapter one to be about organizing the kitchen and dining room. I'm going to add a heading by going to text and typing in kitchen and dining. And if at at any point you're experiencing writer's block or you need some inspiration to get you started, jump back onto ChatGPT and ask it more specific questions. In this case, I typed in, write me an introduction to a section in an ebook that's about the importance of organizing your kitchen and dining room. Like I mentioned, this should just be used as a guide. So be sure to write it out completely in your own words. You don't just wanna copy and paste exactly what ChatGPT gives you because you don't know where the information is coming from. And you can't copyright information that is 100% generated from ChatGPT. Moving forward in Canva, you can delete any page styles that you don't want to include in your ebook by hitting the delete button. You can duplicate the pages you want to reuse and just edit the information. Now to add page numbers, I personally reached out to Canva to ask if they have an automatic page number tool. Currently at the time of this video, they do not. So you do have to add in your page numbers manually which is a little annoying, but hopefully they update this soon. Do this as your very last step to avoid having to redo them if you end up changing anything in your ebook. So it's just that easy. When your ebook is finished, download it as a PDF document by going to the share button on the top right, select PDF and download. You'll also want to download your cover page in JPEG format. You'll see why in a little bit. So go back into the share button, select JPEG, click on page one only and hit download. You're now ready to publish your book. 
There are many options for this. If you have your own website, you'll definitely want to publish it there. Or you might be thinking of selling your eBooks on Amazon Kindle. It's completely free to sign up for a KDP account using your email. However, KDP does require your eBook to be in a specific format. You can read through their guidelines on this website, which I can include down below for you to ensure that your eBook meets their requirements. If you do choose this route, once you're signed into your KDP account, click on create and select create ebook. Now I won't go through all the details of publishing your ebook here because I actually have a few videos where I show you how to upload your low content books on Amazon KDP, which basically includes the same steps to uploading an ebook. I will link a full tutorial for you down below. So the way I have been selling my ebook is by using Koji, which is a free digital storefront and link in bio platform that allows you to sell directly on social media. Yes, it's completely free to sign up and sell your digital products on. Koji only collects a small fee from each sale that you make. So to publish your ebook, go into templates and select ebooks and audiobooks. By the way, I have a whole tutorial on how to create your Koji account from scratch. So I will link that down below for you as well. You'll see under monetization that there is a 10% fee per transaction, which means for every ebook you sell, Koji just takes 10 percent of the profit. Click on configure and you can start adding in all the information for your ebook. I've gone ahead and added in a title, book author, and brief description. This is information that the customers will see before they make a purchase. Set your price here. So I'm just going to make it $20 and hit next. This is where you're going to upload the PDF file that you downloaded in Canva. This file will be automatically ready for download when a customer purchases your ebook. Next, you're going to upload your book's cover. So upload the JPEG file of your cover page that you downloaded in Canva here. You have the option to include a book preview that your customers can view before they purchase your book. I highly recommend including this because it will give them a sense of how good your book is and it might be that nudge that they need to place an order. So I'll just include a preview of the first five pages. Once you've reviewed all the details that you've put in and you're satisfied with all the information, you can then publish your book, which will automatically make it accessible to your audience for purchase on your Koji account. If you visit my Instagram profile, you'll see that the link in my bio is my Koji profile where I have my freebies, links to my YouTube channels, and the link to my ebook that I currently sell. It'll give you an idea of how you can set up your account as well. Regardless of how you've chosen to publish your ebook, you are now ready to promote it. Just because your amazing ebook is now live and ready for sales, it does not mean that customers are going to automatically come flooding in to place their order. It's your job now to create awareness and generate traffic and sales. The best way to do this is to start creating content around the topic of your ebook, whether that be on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, or your blog. Now, you're not going to just create an Instagram post asking people to buy your book. You need to provide value to your audience before you ask them to take action. So for example, if your ebook is about home organization, you could create an Instagram reel showing you organizing your kitchen and in the caption, give them tips about how to organize their kitchen. Then give them a call to action to check out the ultimate home organization guide through the link in your bio for more tips. I do this in every single one of my Instagram posts. I provide value and then I add a call to action, directing my audience to either watch my new video or check out the new product in the link in my bio or whatever it is that I'm promoting. And if you don't have an audience right now, that's okay. When I first started, I didn't have an audience either. There is an abundance of free YouTube videos you can watch on how to grow your audience organically, whether it's on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or wherever you want to promote your ebook. Another great way to promote your new ebook and a main strategy that I will be implementing is through email marketing. Growing an email list will be one of the best ways that you can sell all types of digital products over and over again. I have a video on my channel that walks you through how to easily build an email list. You don't need any tech skills. I will link that video below for you as well. Feel free to watch other creators on YouTube that also offer free tutorials 
tutorials on how to build an email list. But this is going to be one of the most powerful assets in your business because it allows you to connect directly with your audience rather than only relying on the algorithms of social media. Now, selling your ebook can take some time to build momentum. So don't just post once on Instagram and send out one email and hope that sales will come pouring in. You need to continue to warm up your audience and provide them with value. The more they're exposed to your content, the more they will trust you and your products, which will eventually lead to organic ebook sales. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to grab your 10 free downloads on Creative Fabrica using the link in the description box below. You can access their templates and get to work right away. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I wish you the best of luck in creating and selling your ebook. I'll see you in the next one.